Welcome to Lesson 2, Using Common HTML Tags. HTML tags are used to designate the HTML elements on a page. The best way to learn HTML is actually to study how other people use it. For example, in Internet Explorer 8, you can view the source of a web page by selecting View Source from the Page menu, and I will show you how to do this during the tutorial. Headings are used to divide sections of text in a hierarchical manner. HTML defines six levels of headings, ranging from H1 for the most important to H6 for the least important. Dividing text defines a block of content that is used to create logical divisions on your page, and the div tag is used for that purpose. There are two the two most common types of lists are unordered lists and ordered lists. Unordered lists are bulleted lists, whereas ordered lists can be either numerical or alphabetical lists. The UL tag is used to designate an unordered list, and the OL tag is used to designate an ordered list. Both types of lists use the LI tag for their list items. A link is a connection from one web page to another. Although links are simple to use, or perhaps because they are simple to use, they have been a driving force behind the success of the Internet. A link uses an A tag, which stands for anchor. Images are an important component of most web pages. The IMG image tag is used to add an image to a web page. The source of the image and the alternate text for the image are both required attributes. The alternate text for the image would be displayed in the event that the image itself were not able to be displayed. Tables are meant to display tabular data. They allow you to arrange your data into rows and columns, and they are incredibly flexible. However, they are not to be used to lay out your page. They are to be used to display tabular data. Forms are used to send data to the server. They can contain all types of input elements. The form tag is used to create a form, and the action attribute is required for each form. The action attribute is used to designate where to send the data when the form is submitted. In this tutorial, you create an HTML page that uses most of the HTML tags that you have learned. The lesson requirement for this tutorial is the super easy recipes logo .gif file. The hints for this tutorial are to use the HTML snippets to add HTML elements to a page and also to use control K, control D to format your document. To start this lesson, select New Website, select the ASP.NET Empty Website Template, and enter Lesson 2 for the name of the application. Finally, click the OK button. Select Website, Add New Item, and then look for the HTML page. There are quite a few pages, as you can see. The easiest way to find it is to type HTML and hit Enter. There it is. And we're going to name our page cheesesandwich.htm. And click the Add button. First thing we need to do is change the title to Cheese Sandwich. And now we're ready to start entering text into the body. There are a number of ways to enter a div tag. One way is to drag it from the toolbox, then add it our class equals header. Another way to do it is to use HTML code snippets. In this case, you right click the page, select insert snippet, select HTML, and you can see that there are quite a few snippets. There's actually two for divs. There's this plain div and div C. We're going to select div C because that adds a class attribute for us that we can just start typing into. The final way to use uh, snippets is just to type the div C and hit the tab key. If I type div C and hit tab, it creates the element for me, and I can just start typing in the class information. Now we need to add the image. Select Add Existing Item, navigate to Code, 
Lesson 2 and select the super easy recipes logo dot gif. To add the image, we'll put an image tag in. So in the header, put the image tag and the source is going to be equal to, oh, it gives us all the images that are in the folder. Let's look at our error list. Error list is at the bottom. You can see there are actually two errors. One is that we don't have uh, quotation marks on the name of our source and also we're missing the alt attribute. The easiest way to go ahead and add those quotation marks is to format the page by going to edit format document and now we can add the alt tag which is the alternate text that will appear in the event that the image does not display. Now it's time to work on the sidebar. To enter the sidebar, first a header two that says tools, and then we're going to add an ordered list. In this case, we're going to use the code snippet again, so OL, and hit tab. There are two items in our list, so we'll just copy that, and then enter the two items, which are saucepan and a spatula. Now we're ready to complete the content div. Now enter the heading one that says grilled cheese sandwich. Next thing we're going to add is a table. Once again we're going to use an HTML snippet. Table, tab. Our table has two rows and three columns. The TR is a row and a TD would be for a column. So we're going to go ahead and copy that and then copy the row. and enter our values, which would be prep time, cook time, and ready in. Our second row is 5 minutes, 15 minutes, and 20 minutes. Next thing we're going to add is a heading 2. Now I need to add the H2 for ingredients. And now another unordered list, or another list, which is an unordered list. I'm going to use UL and tab. This unordered list is going to have three items. Now I can enter the rest of the information. If you go to design view here at the bottom, you can see in design view what it's going to look like, sort of, on the website. Let's go ahead and view it in browser by right-clicking and selecting view in browser. I'm getting this uh, error message because I did not save it. You can hit control S or just get the error message and say go ahead and save it. There it is. And like I said, if you do a view source by right-clicking the page, you can see the source HTML for the page.